let us solve problem on cycloid this is our problem draw the path traced out by a point on the circumference of a circle of diameter 50 mm which rolls along straight line for one complete rotation the point traced out by the point on the circumference of a circle which rolls along straight line is a cycloid now how to solve this problem first of all draw a circle of given diameter diameter given is 50 mm therefore radius is 25 mm take radius 25 mm in compass then draw circle after drawing circle divide this circle into 12 or 8 equal parts now let us divide this circle into 8 number of equal parts as these are construction lines we have to draw these lines thin continuous lines eight equal part means 45 degree each 45 the linear distance traveled by this circle would be equal to circumference of circle that is pi d calculate this distance circumference pi d is equal to pi into diameter given is 50 mm therefore it will give you 157 mm therefore draw horizontal line with distance equal to 157 mm distance equal to 157 mm i have started from one that's why i am taking 167 instead of 157 now divide this line into same number of equal parts that is the total divisions may uh, of circle it is 8 therefore divide this line segment into same number of equal parts by graphical method only to divide this line segment into eight number of equal parts draw line at any angle then take suitable distance in compass and mark eight points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 you can remove extra portion then join these two ends set your drafter to this line then draw parallel lines in this way the circle is divided into eight number of equal parts this is initial position of point let us call it as p let us call this point as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 
5, 6, 7 and this finally 8th point. Similarly name these points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and this is 8th point. Then draw line passing through center, horizontal line. This is the line of centers because as circle rotates along straight line, its center uh, position will not be changed vertically, but it will be just moved along a straight line. This center will move along straight line. This is initial position for center. This position is 1, C1, this is C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7 and finally C8. These are the positions for circle after every 45 degree rotation. After first 45 degree rotation, the center will move from this position to this. During next 45 degree rotation, it will move to this. After half rotation, that is 45 into 4, this the center will come here. Now draw horizontal lines through all these points on circumference of a circle. To locate the upward movement of uh, the point at different locations, when circle moves from here to here, that is during first 45 degree rotation, let us draw its new position by dotted line. This is the new position for circle. Center moves from here to here. What about this point? Along this circumference, it will be lifted by this much distance because this point is coming here. The upliftment of this point is this much. But uh, instead of this point, it will be along this line, which is which cuts this line. This is the new position for point. As circle is moved from this position to this position, the vertical height will be same, but it will, this point will be displaced from here to here because the center is moved from here and along the circumference of new position, this point will lie here. Similarly, you can locate the position of point. See, this is the first point in the first 45 degree rotation let us call this as P1 after next 45 degree rotation the point will lie on second line this is P2 point during next 45 degree the center will be C3 and the position of point will lie along this on this line passing through 3. This is the third point. During next 45 degree rotation, 
during next 45 degree rotation the position of point will be here in on this horizontal line it is a p4 point during first half rotation of this circle there will be upliftment of points and this is the highest position reached by point during first half during next half rotation this point will fall down gradually and its journey will end up here after one rotation let us locate the position of point when the center of circle is at c5 it will lie on the on the line passing through 5 on each line we will get two points on this line we will get 3 and 5 on this line we get 2 and 6 on this line we get 1 and 7 except first line and this fourth line on these two lines we get only single points one here and one here and the end position also will get on the same line this point is P5 then when the circle center is at 7 then it will lie on this line passing through 7 we got two points P1 and P7 on the same line this is the position of point P1 and this will be the position of point P7 we forgot to locate the position of point when the circle center is at C6 the P6 point will lie on this horizontal line P6 and finally P8 will be here only this is the position final position of point P8 after one complete rotation then draw a smooth curve passing through all these points if you are comfortable with uh, In this way, we got cycloid. You can give dimensions as well and name the curve. Name of the curve is cycloid. Say to dropper once again. Draw two lines at five mm spacing, inside which you can write something.
Now let us give dimension. While giving dimension uh, dimension to the circle, your leader your leader line should be at forty five degree only. These are some dimension dimensioning rules. This diameter is five fifty. Five stands for diameter in graphics. Can give this circumference also. It is one fifty seven mm. Thank you.